Now, I realize that what most Canadians want to know is when are we going to lower our policy rate? What do we need to see to be convinced to cut? The short answer is we are seeing what we need to see, but we need to see it for longer. That is Bank of Canada Governor Tiff Macklem announcing that the key interest rate is staying put at 5%, at least for now. Um, well, and Phil Martino joins us from the Business Centre. And Phil, we, we got a hint where that lower interest rates or when they could be on the way, but we're not there just yet. Not yet. So 5%, that's for now, the sixth consecutive hold, but the Bank of Canada is signaling lower interest rates are coming. Governor Tiff Macklem says a rate cut at its June 5th announcement is within the realm of possibilities. According to Macklem, economic data since January has increased the central bank's confidence that inflation will continue to slow even as economic growth picks up. So what does the central bank need to be convinced it's time to cut? Macklem says the short answer is... We're seeing what we need to see, but we need to see it for longer to be confident that progress toward price stability will be sustained. Okay, so if you are a betting person, like what are what are the odds here? Uh, if I, I mean, I'm really bad at gambling, but <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to go with June because the economists are saying June. Okay, all right. Yeah. We'll find out in June. <laughs> Thank you. And Canadians haven't only been calling for an interest, lower interest rates, Phil. Lower grocery prices would also be nice, too, for them. I mean, so many people are struggling to put food on the table, so this is welcome news. A new report is predicting that grocery inflation will fall below 2% by the spring and stay roughly between 1% and 2% for the rest of 2024. Agricultural lending firm Farm Credit Canada says it expects food prices increases beyond 2024 to stabilize around pre-pandemic levels. According to the report, some products are expected to go down in price this year, such as flour, after a sharp increase over the last couple of years. And this will translate to lower bakery and tortilla manufacturing selling prices by the end of the year. But that's not the case for sugar and cocoa. Okay, so still a little ways away. Now, this next story is so interesting. How would you like to decide which movies are made and maybe more importantly, which ones aren't made? One studio is giving us that chance, Phil. I mean, I want to get in on this. So Angel <laughs> Studios wants to give audiences the power to decide what movies are made. The company behind last summer's surprise box office hit, the child trafficking movie Sound of Freedom, uses a crowdfunding model to finance projects from the ground up. Angel's distribution head says the gatekeeper model's broken. It isn't working for audiences, the creative community, or the theater owners either. Its biggest hit to date, Sound of Freedom, earned over $250 million globally. Angel Studios raised the funds to make it in just a week. And in 2023, its first year releasing movies, Angel Studios made over $300 million worldwide. And I'm all in for this model. I would love another Jason Statham action film, maybe <laughs> Kit Harington doing something. That, that, I mean, I, I'm in for that. I would put money into that. You've just given us a whole new glimpse into you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really fascinating because this could entirely disrupt the movie industry. I think so. And then movies that would maybe not be made will be made because audiences get to pick because they'll say, this is the money I want my money to, you know, movie I want my money to go into. So who knows what's going to happen? Who knows indeed. All right, Phil, thanks very much for joining us today.